Hey guys, today we're doing level 4 of LEGO The Incredibles. This is Elastigirl in the case. I'm going to cover all the mini kits in this level. This one is uh, where you investigate Screen Slaver's secret hideout base place. It's the one with all the garbage in it. <laughs> I don't know the best way to describe it. I guess it's a uh, it's an apartment with uh, lots of stuff. I guess they're a hoarder. I don't know. We guess we'll see how it goes. But most of them are in the first section of the level. And then there's only a couple. There's two sections. There, there's the uh, investigation section. And then there's a boss fight. And then there's the escape. Where you have to chase them through the halls of the apartment complex. Most of them are in the first part. There's a couple in the second part. Thankfully, even though it's a chase, you're not actually like on a time limit for any of them. So they're not too hard to miss. Um, before we get too far into this, I'll, I'll just again remind you guys we've got a contest going. It's ending uh, July 2nd, and we're giving away some games. Check out the uh, description for all the information. Yeah, this first sequence, you have to sneak regardless. Now, there actually is a mini kit that it doesn't tell you about. I've got all the, I've got the cheat on that tells you where all the... Uh, collectibles are in a level, but this one it does not tell you You'll see pretty soon what it's supposed to be This is an obvious one we gotta break all these need somebody with explosives <laughs> Let's get a little bit further away That should do it Yep, there's five of those, but do you see that other one? One or two out of ten. We have to destroy all the little eyeballs. They're in the hallway. Yeah, so let's go do that right now. Let's clear these out. There's some. There's one. There's one right there. There's one. There you go. Yep, with these mini kits, just when in doubt, just destroy everything. Let's see if we can get that. And he doesn't want to cooperate, so let's switch characters. Hey, he's got laser eyes. This might do it. Or a fire beam. Whatever. It's working. Not quite. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so for some reason there's multiple parts to this. So there's a little pogo stick that pops up. <laughs> Can I do this? Let's just switch to Elastigirl. Alright, let's ride it. So you just follow those. Some studs will appear. And there it is. All right, that's one. An investigation. You have to have Russell to do these little investigations. I think there might be another character who can, but he's the most he's, he's the easiest to get and the most obvious. Not necessarily the easiest to get, but he's the most obvious. Let's find that. And there we go. That fixes this. There we are. Wow, Alright, I can do the arcade. Anybody can do this. You can do this the first time through. 
Right, I need to destroy all these alien ships. All the gold ones, the ones you need to destroy. There we got one. It's a little weird because you can see it, the, all the spaces it goes, they're kind of locked into an invisible grid rather than being where you have like free movement. So it's a little awkward. But they can appear. If you miss one, it'll come back. See, I just missed one. But it should be back soon. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's all of them. Hey! Kind of reminds me of Bud, those like Buzz Lightyear colors. It's probably a reference. There you go. Might be like Emperor Zerg or something. It's weird seeing this regular Mr. Incredible. Regular mini kit. Mini fig. Excuse me. Mr. Incredible. Alright, there's nothing related to mini kits up here. This is just for continuing the level. But let's get it over with. Do someone non Jack Jacks, we don't have to switch. That Gazer Beam. He was a uh, superhero activist. And in this game, you uh, team up with him. But in the movie, he's just a, he's a corpse. It's a pretty creepily realistic one, too. Honestly, the, the, the Incredibles is a, has some pretty scary stuff moments in it. Not really stuff, but it has some moments that are a little scary. They definitely portray the danger as being very real. Rather than kind of make it seem more fun. I mean, it is fun still. It's more like Indiana Jones fun than... Uh, like Saturday morning cartoon fun. There we go. There's another one. Because they're silver, they require bombs, so just blow that up. If he wants to cooperate, we'll just go ahead and do this. We need it's required to go through the level, so let's do it. This just gets you one of the uh the bricks you need to continue. So remember, this level you have to get a couple, do that super build. That unlocks this cage room. I assume it's like a Faraday cage. I could be wrong, it might just be like a cool cage, but... Alright, it's gold, so it requires fire. Now let's just get close so it automatically will select a character for us. Alright, that takes us into the maze. This has another mini kit in it that's pretty obvious. This is one that you can get the first time through. That one. Yeah, you can get that one the first time you go through this level. There we go, hit that switch. 
See, that's the last one of those. I forget what those are called. So we're checking out your vision. There we go. That's all the brig targets. So let's move on. That's all of them in this level. This section of the level. Yep, let's just go ahead and do the super build. There we go. Now, as I've said, I haven't seen uh, The Incredibles 2 yet. I imagine uh, Elastigirl is by herself for this. Just like in when they do some levels from the first movie, they add a superhero to be around when there wasn't anybody. Yeah, that's the red side, not that side. That's a pretty sweet giant robot. Pretty conscientious too. All right, let's head in, and this is where there's a boss fight, so I'm just going to skip that. We'll move on to the chase. Okay, there's no mini kits until we get to the stairwell. So there's no danger of missing anything in here. Now there's a couple in this area. Alright. This is required to continue, but might as well do it. Nothing over there, so. This is one where you need Mr. Incredible. As you can see, there's a breakable wall right there. Just need to shove this out of the way first. Thankfully, this is required, so. Just get this over with. And punch through this wall. There you go. That's another mini kit. Alright. Now what are we going to do? Well, there. Little patches that look somebody small can fit through. These are always the funniest ones. Because these have been around since the very beginning. I remember doing this in... Uh, the original Lego Star Wars. There you go. There's number seven. I do a little bit of wandering around, so I'm just going to skip that. This next, next sequence, you need to put out this fire here. Anyone who can put out fires, it's good for. I remember the the first Lego Star Wars game. It was based off the prequels. It was the first three. Oh, that was the greatest thing. Yeah, instead of grabbing her, we'll just switch. Be a little faster. Of course, we're going to have to switch characters anyway, so might as well... So we're going to have to bring the second player over. Because it's kind of a two-part action here, so... really doesn't make things any faster. Always need some fire. 
Let's use Gazer Beam again, just for some variety. I want to use Jack Jack for everything. There we go. Alright, passageway is open. Now, there is a mini kit in this hallway up ahead, so. Let's keep an eye out for it. This one you can get the first time through, and you might have gotten it without even noticing it. It's just right past these boxes. Right there. Very interesting. And this last one, you could also get the first time through. It's after the elevator falls. Now, so first thing you want to do is pull this down. It's the counterweight. There we go. Let's go in here and grab this. Hmm, this could be useful. There we go. That's the last one. That's every mini kit. I'll climb up here a little bit, but... Otherwise, that's the end of this level, so let's exit the city. And make sure to save and exit. And that does it. That keeps all your progress. There you go, got the true super. That's really easy to get if you get any of the cheats, multipliers. And what we get? It's Micro Mike's car. <laughs> Alright. That's it for this one. See you guys in level 5.